Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the mean, the median, and the variance. Now, if you take a look at the Colab notebook here, well, first of all, we're going to import NumPy as NP uh, so that we can use it in the notebook. And you can see right here, right, mean in a way is um, uh, it's a number that try to measure the central tendency of the distribution. It conveys information about the concentration or the center of the data distribution. Now, it's more suitable for normal distribution. Normal distribution is basically you have a Gaussian shape. You know, you have a, like a mountain shape like this right here. If you have like two mountain shapes like that, yeah, then that is not a normal distribution, for example, and the mean is not <clears throat> a good um, number to describe that distribution. As you can see right here, right, the formula for the mean is that you add up all of the numbers in the distribution. Let's say, for example, you have a list of numbers right here, right? You add up all those numbers, and you divide by the total number uh, <coughs> in the list, and you get the mean. And it's usually signified by the letter X bar, you know, the bar right here for mean. And by the way, um, I'm creating this cell right here using text, uh, the text uh, right here, right? And if you double click on that right here, I'm using latex um, in between the uh, the multi symbol right here, for example, bar X right here, right? These things right here, um, you know, when you put it in here, it can give you a nice uh, represent representation of the formula. Um, so let's say, for example, right here, right? If you want to find out how to write a formula for the mean, just Google latex mean um, a function or something like that, and it will guide you to you know um, <coughs> how to how to do that uh, in the first few links. Okay, so as an example for the uh, for the mean, I'm using the list right here of the velocity of planets going around the sun, orbital velocity right here. So like for example, this right here is Mercury, Venus, Mercury, Venus, Earth right here. So Earth is going around the sun about 30 kilometers per second, which is actually pretty fast right there. Uh, imagine if you go from LA to Vegas with that speed right there. Now, this function right here um, would get a number uh, length of, of this list right here. Uh, for example, get the number of this list, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's eight planet plus Pluto right here is Pluto. So when we have the the number in the list, uh, we can calculate the mean by two methods. The first one is manual. So you sum up all of the number in the list, and you divide it by um, uh, the total, uh, you know, the uh, the, uh, the number uh, of element in the list, which in this situation is nine. And then another way to do that is um, you can uh, just use the mean function in NumPy. So and uh, let me say no, NumPy.mean. Um, and uh, just do the give it the orbital velocity and we'll do the rest. In here, right, so we, we add up with the sum right here, we'll add up all of the element in the list and divide by the total number of elements in the list right here. And this one right here, we just calculate uh, by giving it the list. And you can see right here, right, the two methods give us essentially the same number. And by the way, uh, th this print format right here in Python, right, you can specify it so that it print out um, the number of decimal you want it. For example, right here, right, what does it mean is that it's going to take, take this number, put it here, and then just um, um, route it up to two decimal, uh, to, uh, to two decimal right here, floating uh, right here. And then uh, another method in, um, in NumPy that you can use is median because sometimes you know, the, the distribution skew really wide to one number instead of other. Imagine if you had Jeff Bezos in the list of you know, 10 people you know, with total well, right? You see that that mean right there is going to be skewed really um, to, you know, way to the high side. So in that situation right there, you're going to want to do the median, uh, for example. So if you do NPy median and you pass an orbital velocity, it's going to essentially take the middle number. So if you look at this one right here, right? One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, right? So 13.1 is the middle number. And the median is going to return us to us the middle number right here. The next um, topic I'm going to talk about is uh, standard deviation. 
And here is the formula for the standard deviation. Okay, this one right here, you can think of that as, a, as an unbiased version of the uh, variant. I'm talking, uh, variant. This is right here, variant, right? The standard deviation gets the square root of the variance. So we're talking about the variance right here. Variance measures the width or dispersion of the distribution. And it's similar to standard deviation. Um, and it's suitable for a variety of distribution. And if this is a formula to calculate um, the uh, variance. And again, right, I'm using uh, uh, latex. Uh, and uh, I'm using latex in the uh, uh, collab. And you can see right here, here's a formula for how to write this, um, um, uh, how to write neatly uh, the variance and the standard deviation. Uh, you can just Google that again, right? You know, latex standard deviation, latex uh, variant. It will show you how to do this right here. Okay, and I'm creating a text cell for this. Okay, so. <coughs> now, if you take a look at this right here, right? Um, this is the manual way to calculate the standard deviation using the formula. Uh, the, this dashed line right here is basically, you know, for continuation because you see right here, right? My formula is, uh, is going to the next line right here. And if you don't put this right here, it's going to give you an error. So if you want, if you write, have a continuation into the next line, use this dashed line right here. Okay. So this one right here is the manual way. This one right here is a default NumPy method to calculate variance. See np.variance and you pass in the orbital velocity. And then, you know, the variance method in NumPy has another optional parameter, a degree of freedom. And you notice that this degree of freedom right here is zero. Okay, so here and here, uh, you know, uh, when I run it, you see that it gives us essentially the same thing. So in NumPy, the degree of freedom is defaulted to zero. But you, if you notice that if you calculate the um, um, NP uh, uh, manual, you have a different number right here. That's just because the this definition right here is equivalent to the degree of freedom equal to one in um, uh, in NumPy right here. So if you do, for example, if you do the uh, uh, the var method but with the degree of freedom parameter set equal to one, then you see that it's essentially the same thing as the manual way that we calculate using this definition right here. The reason why you had a minus one right here is because, right, we calculate the, uh, we calculate the mean already right here. So we don't need, you know, so we don't, if you put, if you divide by n, that would be biased because we already have this information right here, right? So in order to have an unbiased version, you're gonna to want to have n minus one to take into account that we already know, uh, know or calculate this mean right here. Okay. So uh, if you want uh, if you want NumPy to give us the um, similar result to this uh, formula right here, that you have to do the degree of freedom uh, equal to one, okay? And finally. Does, is there a practical difference if you have the degree of freedom equals to zero or degree of freedom equal to one right here? So let's say, right, if you run, for example, if you run when n, uh, this one right here is a random integer between zero and 50, right? And then, you know, there's 10 samples uh, this time right there, right? You know that it's a smaller sample. The variance can be um, uh, <coughs> quite, a, quite a bit different between uh, degree of freedom one or zero. If you go to, like, for example, even just a thousand right there, right? It starts getting smaller, and then you go to 10,000 uh, or even 100,000 right there, right? Um, so that's practically no different between uh, the two uh, uh, method, uh, the, the, the two parameter, one or zero, in large number. And, you know, usually working in statistic or in deep learning or machine learning, uh, the sample is usually pretty large right there, right? So you're going to be okay um, uh, in the real world. So again, right, this is, um, you know, this is the uh, videos about the mean, the median, the variance, um, and just uh, an example of how to use that in NumPy. I hope this video helped. If you like it, please um, give a thumb up, uh, give a heart, uh, subscribe, and uh, have a great day.